This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello to all my favorite people, I'm Lucy and I hope you're having a kick-ass day. Today we're going to talk about how to edit great photos right on your phone using the free Lightroom mobile app. Now if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I usually talk about professional photography and professional photo editing, so you might be like, why are you talking about an app? Well, this is for more people who are just getting into photography. Maybe you got a new camera recently, maybe you have a great camera on your phone, and you've been really enjoying taking photos, and you know you really want to get into editing. And this is whether you're just doing it for fun, for Instagram, of course, everyone wants the double taps, or if you're just doing it for like family memories, vacations, for whatever reason, you like taking photos and you want to learn more about editing. Going with the free app is a great place to start because this app is, I would say, the best, but if you get really into photo editing, then you can just easily upgrade and you'll get access to the desktop version of Lightroom. So it's a great place to start. Let's get into it. All right, so if you haven't already, download the Lightroom mobile app. Now once you do, it's gonna ask you to create an Adobe account. This doesn't cost anything, but just create the account and then you will be logged in to the app. Now to actually import a photo, we're just gonna go over to this little guy there and go ahead and pick your photo and just hit that little check and it's uploaded. You can actually use this app to organize your photos and create albums and stuff like that if you want to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick the photo. So just so you know right away, the tools with the blue icons on it, those are premium features that do require a paid upgrade. Now if you really get into using this app and you love it, it's worth it down the line, but you don't need it to still edit amazing photos with this. So the first thing I always do once I pick my photo is I like to crop it. So whether you're posting it on uh, like a blog or Facebook or Flickr, does Flickr still a thing? I haven't used it in so long, but let me know if it's still a thing, if it is. Um, I'm gonna be posting this on the classic Insta. Uh, so I'm gonna crop it for that, which is four by five. And I'm just gonna use this little dial to make sure that it is totally straight on the horizon line. So I'm happy with that, check, and we're good to go. Now the next thing you can do in here is you can check out profiles and these are basically presets. Now there's nothing wrong with starting with a preset, it just makes it easier to edit and it makes it faster. So you can go check out a couple, they have totally different looks. I think I like modern four. And if you use this dial here, you can either use like, make the preset strength less strong or stronger. I kind of like just where it is. So that's great. Now, if you ever want to see the before and after, you just click and hold and it'll show you what it looked like before. When you release, it shows you what you're with now. So I didn't really do too much with that change. Now I'm going to go into light. This is the best place to start to really start fixing up any issues with your photo. Now the first thing I always do is bring the highlights down and bring the shadows up. And this just evens all the tones in your image. Next up, I'm gonna bring down the whites because there is still a lot of brightness happening in this image. And I'm gonna bring down the blacks and this is actually gonna make the dark tones uh, much darker in the image and I want that to happen. So that's looking good. And for this image, I'm gonna increase the contrast. I'm wearing a cool check suit, so like I want that to come across in the photo. So in that, that is great. Now, um, you can also go into the tone curve, which is amazing that this is a free feature, because uh, usually you don't really get that. Um, if you want to learn how to use the tone curve, because I know this looks scary, click the link in the up above somewhere there, because I did a video all about how to use the tone curve, and that should help you out. But basically what I'm gonna do is I like to use this to just lift the shadows of the image and it kind of gives it like a matte look. So great. Next, I'm gonna go over to the color panel and uh, you can either make the image warmer or cooler. This is all about personal taste at this point. I actually think the cooler kind of look works really nicely. Uh, you can tint the image if you want, like I could add some pink in there, why not? Now you can go into the color mix. This is going to give you specific colors if there were any colors that you wanted to change. 
So for instance, I'll just go to green because there's lots of green in the background. I could take the saturation out of the green or make it super, super green. Uh, you can see the difference happening there. So if I didn't want so much color in the background, I could bring that saturation down a little bit. Maybe I could make it darker or brighter. And you can do that for all the colors. So for a more colorful image, that would be really useful. Done. Gonna go over to effects. There's lots of things you can do here. Clarity, texture. Um, with any of these, just use a little bit and you're gonna be okay. With anything, if you go way too much, it just looks like trash. So like, ugh, never do that. But a little bit can definitely help your image. Just use it sparingly. Uh, the main thing that I use in this section is I do like to add grain to my photos. You know, give that vintage vibe. Uh, so you can do however much or however little you like. It's totally a personal thing. You can go into detail, do some more sharpening to your image. The last free tool here is optics, which really isn't something that you're gonna be using a lot of. Now one last thing I'll show you that's actually a pretty cool feature. Say I liked all these uh, edits that I did, but I wanna see them on another photo. Just go back to your library, add in the photo you wanna check out. I'll go with that one. Click it. You can go over to the end here and just hit previous, all, and it puts all those adjustments onto your new photo. So you can actually go through and edit a bunch of photos, put the same style of editing on them, and then pick which one is your favorite, which is pretty cool. So I'm really happy with this. If I tap and hold, I can see the before unedited, let go and see all my edits. This is really great for editing it straight on my phone. So that's how easy it is to get started editing photos right on your phone. Now this video is sponsored by Skillshare, so a big thank you to the team over there for that. But honestly guys, they are the best place to learn new things online. They have thousands of classes in photography, videography, creative business, and really anything you could wanna learn about. Now one course I would personally recommend for you since you're into mobile editing is the Mobile Editing Like a Pro course. The reason why I love this course, and I think you guys will too, is because Sean actually has a very similar teaching style to me. So everything is super simple, straightforward, and he actually takes you step by step so you can edit along with him. 100% recommend this course. Now if you're ready to check out Skillshare, check the link in the description below and the first 500 people are gonna get two free months. So sign up, I don't know why you wouldn't. Two free months? like. You could learn a lot in two months. So check out that link and I will see you next week. Peace out.